they're off. Jumping away over seven furlongs for the Joint Racing TV restricted novice stakes. And they broke in a fairly good line. Kentucky Bluegrass is the one who goes into the early lead with a claimer for company towards the inside. Cawthorn's Gem, the red and white, also front rank. And they're followed through by Indiana B, who's racing a shade enthusiastically. Uh, then they've got Man of Arn in the Scarlet and Mauve checks just in front of the white-faced gold guy. Then Majimuk Splash and King of the Jungle. And Pearly Star is the back marker as they... Uh, settle down and race on to the final four furlongs of their journey. And it's Kentucky Bluegrass who has a narrow lead to Cawthorn's Gem. Indiana B still racing a little choke out away to the left in the green and yellow. Acclaim is just racing behind them in fourth down on the rail with Man of Arn wider out. Another three parts to Gold Guy who's in sixth and one and a half length match from Splash in seven. In turn a neck away is the King of the Jungle and three lengths down. Pearly Star is last of all. They're now beginning to up the ante and approach the final two and Indiana B moves up on the outside of Kentucky Bluegrass who's responding well on the far side. Cawthorn's Gem Lee being left behind. Man of Arn has moved into third from Acclaimer and then Gold Guy as Kentucky Bluegrass is the one to catch from Indiana B. Man of Arn hitting full stride down the outside. Kentucky Bluegrass trying to hold on from Man of Arn. Kentucky Bluegrass clinging on. Man of Arn thrusts but it wasn't enough. Kentucky Bluegrass held on from Manavan, Indiana B, and a claimer. Kentucky Bluegrass takes the second race of the day under Danny Tudup and Danny you were keen to get across to that rail but he's really matured well this horse. He has yeah obviously like you say he's only had the one start last year and um, uh, yeah his first start this year and he's a real big horse you know he's probably just grown into himself now and um, yeah he, he's we thought today maybe seven forms might be a bit sharp for him but he was out and gone you know he knew his job and um, I'm sure he's going to improve for this. Yeah, and looking at his pedigree, I was just saying after the race that he's a horse that should stay further, and he looks that sort as well. Yeah, he does, yeah. Um, he's quite a nervous type as well still. Um, but, yeah, like you say, his pedigree suggests he'll stay a lot further than this, and, um, yeah, he should have a nice future. And hopefully Dave's horse is just starting to hit a little bit of form now after a quiet month. Yeah, they've started to um, run well, and he's banging in a few winners now. So, yeah, he had a bit of a quiet spell there, but, you know, it tends to happen, you know, every year, and, um, you know, he's a, he's a good stable to be with, so I'd... Watch out for him. Yeah, well done. Yes, yes.